and gentlemen, welcome to the Pop Art Hunter channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at a book, Hollywood Movie Posters, 1914 to 1990. It's very specific, but uh, this is a, a great kind of, uh, I don't know, compilation of movie posters from uh, around those different decades. It's got some of the biggies in there and it's got some really cool posters. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so this uh, book also comes uh, with a price guide. Now, this is uh, copyright 2004, so whether or not those prices are accurate or not are likely not true. That They've probably significantly gone up or significantly gone down. Um, possibly could say the same. But we're not going to flip through every page of the book, but we'll kind of go through some of them. There's a lot of old posters. I mean, the earliest... Ones that I have listed here, 1914 is one here. Um, Birth of a Nation, is that that's not like one of the first, uh, the first if not the first color movie with maybe sound? <laughs> I'm, uh, my, my, my movie history is not what it needs to be. Um, but even, even that though, you, you know, being such an early movie there, this is six to $8,000, um, they said that was worth, whereas, you know, some of the movies later here, you, you get into even more money uh, for the, those, and they're a little bit newer. So, all that depends on supply and demand, popularity of the movie. So Charlie Chaplin, uh, Buster R. Keaton, kind of the old slapsticky uh, um, artist of the day. This is a lobby card uh, right here from that movie. So I also have some lobby cards in addition to the, the one-pagers. Uh, I'm just going to flip through some of these. I'm just going to give you a little bit more of a close-up. Again, they're pretty uh, good quality uh, images of these these posters. I don't know if those are, if they happen to have a, a, a mint copy of these posters or they reproduced them or recreated them because these are, I mean, pristine if, that, if, those, if those are real. Oh, we got here Underworld, Charlie Chaplin and uh, City Lights. Okay, here, here's an example. This is 1931. Kind of a, a fun poster if you like Charlie Chaplin. It's colorful, it's vibrant, centered figure. Um, Twenty to $30,000 only. <laughs> uh, again, this is a uh, t almost a 20 year old book here, so some of the stuff could be a little off. I think that's a May West, uh, three to four thousand dollars for a poster. Um, ladies, they talk about with Barbara Stanwyck. Some of these actors are before my uh, day, and so I might not know all of them. But we got, yeah, I know a little Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. I know of them. I don't really watch their movies very often. So take a look at a couple of these a little bit better. And again, they give the title and a year and a rough price also a little bit. More about the poster itself. Oh, it's a one sheet or a half sheet. Style A, B, C, D, etc. Um, you got some Laurel and Hardy here. And this is a, a, a cartoon uh, poster. So they were kind of characters of the actors themselves. Same thing with the uh, Poppy with the... W.C. Fields, this almost looks a little bit like a Drew Struzan uh, type drawing, a little bit more photorealistic um, than a, the cartoons that we see out here, but no, not not quite. You could pull a Drew Struzan out of a, a crowd. Those, uh, those are definitely art. Uh, the Marx Brothers, you know, I never got the Marx Brothers. I never got the Three Stooges. I, I, just, I just don't get it. <laughs> I like I like a little slapstick as much as the next guy, but I just I just never I never understood the allure of the humor. Uh, well, loved Laurel and Hardy as a kid. I remember my, my my grandpa watching Laurel and Hardy, and I thought they were funny. Uh, did not get the Marx Brothers. Three Stooges didn't get them either. John Wayne didn't really get them either. Uh, so as you'll find, this book, even though it goes from 1914 to 1990, not that much modern stuff in here. Um, and I mean, we'll get to the end here, but you know, ooh, I, I could handle with that. That's what, 1500 to 2000, I, I would take a Frankenstein poster, original movie monster. Um, I would I would definitely take a little bit of that. San Quentin, just fluttering that. Oh, we got some, some Disney here. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, those are in the 
five to eight thousand dollar, five to nine thousand dollar range. Disney, Disney Anna, Disney, Disney stuff is popular. I can't, can't, uh, can't beat the the prices on that. Moon over Miami. I think I've heard of that. I think I think uh, Denny's has a Moon over Miami <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> I think I've only been to uh, Denny's like once or twice. I recall that that sandwich name. It tickled it tickled my my uh, my funny ball. Yeah, I just the the Marx Brothers. I just I, <laughs> I just and there's so many of them in here. <laughs> All right, here here's more of my style. We got to. Disney, Fantasia, you got Maya, Miles, Pinocchio, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, Son of Dracula. So some of these are kind of those those uh, B movies. They're like, oh, we made Frankenstein, we made Dracula, we made Wolfman. Now let's have them all meet up and mash up and uh, try to try to capitalize upon that uh, the success of those other movies, which is classic Hollywood for you. So now we're getting into the fifties here a little bit. A seven-year itch, a classic Marilyn Monroe image there. Four to six thousand dollars. You'd think it'd be a little bit more than that, considering. Um, but it depends on the run of them. Day the Earth stood still. What's it going? Bela Lugosi and Dracula. There, that's nice. So I I like these also. Um, you know, I, I do some poster design for like uh, community theaters and stuff like that, and. Um, you know, when I do that, sometimes these are kind of nice to get a little bit of inspiration uh, from some of these older, uh, you know, uh, posters, you know, kind of not not copy the style, but pay homage uh, to the style a little bit because uh, there's a pretty neat design. So now we're getting into the 50s here and we're almost at the end of the book. So as I, as I mentioned, it's not, not not a ton of new stuff in here. You know, a few things from the 60s, dinosaurs, Cleopatra... Spartacus, uh, <laughs> Ocean's Eleven, the old one. Sound of, uh, Sound of Music from 65. We'll get a little bit of James Bond there. My Fair Lady. I was going to say Hello Dolly's my, uh, my Fair Lady. Midnight Cowboy, Dustin Hoffman, John Voight. So now we're in the late 60s, getting into the 70s here, mid 70s. And then I want to see it. Or the, let's start from that, the back here. <laughs> so the newest poster they have in here is 1990. You got the Godfather three, Goodfellas, and then the next up is 82 with Tootsie <laughs> and ET. Gosh, that that you know the, this is kind of interesting. I I would have I would have not pegged ET and Tootsie coming out in the same year. <laughs> I would have put them 10 to 15 years apart. That's incredible. That's crazy. I, I would have definitely put them ten years apart. I would have even said Tootsie was early '80s, late '70s, and ET was late '80s at least. I'd have put a good five, ten years between them at least, if not more. Huh. Now the other thing in the back of this, they have um, a little bit more detail on poster sizes. Like a half sheet is 22 inches by uh, 28 inches. What's well, a one sheet, two sheet, three sheet, six sheet? Uh, six sheets, 81 by 81. It's a little bit older uh, poster sizes. The one sheet, the 27 by 41, is pretty typical now of the newer posters that you see. You got lobby cards, advanced, uh, re-release, etc. Um, they give you some definitions, uh, information on how to preserve and storage, and also uh, what at least they constitute when they're talking about condition from fair to mint, poor, etc. So, yeah, th this is a... Pretty neat uh, book, uh, a, little, a little older posters than I would likely collect myself, uh, just uh, because of the price range and also the interest and nostalgia of it. I, you know, uh, I, I like the Wizard of Oz as a kid. I would go, go for original Wizard of Oz poster. Looking at King Kong on the cover here, it's a cool poster, not for the price that they're gonna they're gonna charge for those things. And then there's not a ton of them. They, even they were cool looking. I was never a huge Sherlock Holmes fan. I'm not gonna pay really any sum of money for the Hound of the Baskervilles poster, unless that was relatively inexpensive. So, uh, which it would definitely not be. So yeah, pretty cool book. Uh, I think if you collect early stuff or you like uh, 
to look at the early stuff, this is the book for you. Even got a little bit of price information, some definitions on stuff to help you collect. Movie posters are one of those collectible items that is really sometimes hard to collect because they take up a lot of wall space or they take up a lot of physical space. If you're doing a portfolio, those portfolios are very large. Um, and so having a book like this is a way that you can collect without having to actually collect. It's sort of like my Funko Pop uh, books uh, that I have. I was able to sell my collection of like 800 figures, have a few books on a shelf, and it's meeting my needs. It gets me out of the addiction phase of collecting Funko Pops. But anyway, the same thing is true with movie posters. So I have quite a few movie poster books, uh, and I'm starting to get into that, collecting them a little bit more. But um, this is one of those books that is is kind of just a one-stop shop it's got the biggies in there it's got the mainstream ones um, and then some of the other books I have are a little bit more detailed and they get into these uh, you know the nuances of these different types of posters and variants or um, variants from different countries and things of that nature um, different you know styles and things of uh, like that so anyway this is a great book I'm glad to have it in my collection uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and we will see you next time right here on the pop art hunter channel like subscribe all those sorts of things and we'll see you later <laughs>